Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are uh, we will try to learn about files concepts. That is copying one file to another file. At the same time, we also wanted to convert all your lowercase to uppercase. Right. So whatever the content is there in the lowercase, I wanted to convert that into uppercase. That is when you are trying to copy from content of one file to another file so that uh, it is like from source file to target file. OK, so whatever the content is there, that one will be co copied into your target file. And in that target file, that content has to be in uppercase. Right. So that is what this program actually do. So first we will include your uh, stdio.h and also standard library and also ctype.h. So here ctype.h is a special header file which have different functions like if you wanted to convert uh, to uppercase, we will use two upper uh, predefined method is there. If you want to convert into lower to lower or else if you wanted to find whether it is a graph, is a graph. So like that some predefined uh, functions are there. So in order to use that one, we will be using your um, ctype.h and the other one is standard library functions. So that is regarding your uh, files we are using like put as get as and all we'll be using, you know. So for that reason, you are using the standard library uh, function, right? So starting with our main first, as I said, uh, in our previous lectures, we had seen how to create a file and how you are going to uh, write some text into the file in our previous um, video, right? So once you just go through that, then you will know what is that FP1, FP2, right? So file is a uh, data structure, right? So for that, you're trying to create two file pointers. One is for the existing one, that is student.txt. And the other one, I wanted to link up for the target file, right? So with this files, uh, file pointers, you will be using the, I mean, you'll uh, make a connection between them uh, in order to open a file or write something into file, right? So we require some file pointers. So those are nothing but your FP1 and FP2. And I'm taking some char value, uh, character variable ch, right? So first, for the first file pointer, what I'm doing, I'm opening student.txt in read mode. So as you know, I had already opened uh, student.txt in our previous lecture, right? So this is what is my uh, student.txt. So you can see here. So hi, welcome to PPS lab session. Right. So this is what my uh, student.txt file content is, which I created in my last lecture. Right. So now I wanted to convert that into the uppercase and I wanted to con uh, copy that whole content to the other file. Right. So what is this R? R indicates that you are trying to open the file in read mode not in read, write, all modes we are not giving, only read mode because I just wanted to read the content, right? Next, if fp1 is equals to null, that is, if suppose student.txt is not available, obviously my file pointer will be null. Put as file does not exist and simply you are returning. So for that reason, you are using the exit function. <clears throat> when I'm returning to exit, if it is null, Right, as you know, I had already shown you student1.txt, it is there. Maximum, we don't get any error. Next, next, what we want, we want it to the file pointer to, that is to open a new file. So fp2 is equals to f open target.txt. So what I'm creating, I'm creating a new text file target.txt. In which mode I want, I want that to be in write mode. Right, then if fp2 is equals to null, that is if the file, so because of some problem, if the target one, target.txt is not created, then obviously my fp2 will be equals to null. Then what I'm trying to do, put as file doesn't exist. And then you need to close the fp1. See here where I'm closing my fp1 after opening the target file. If fp2 is not available, then you are closing your file pointer one, not file pointer two, right? And then you simply are quitting from the uh, this if loop. So exit one again for your file pointer two. Uh, sorry, uh, you're exiting from the if file pointer is e two is equals to null, else next. If suppose everything is fine, that is here the file pointer is created, target file is open in write mode, then what you will do? 
then you will come to this while loop. I had declared one character variable ch, right? So ch is e equals to f get c of fp1 is not equals to zero. So what you are trying to do, you are trying to connect a file pointer one, right? And f get c is used to get characters from where from file pointer one until and how, uh, unless where should i stop that is until it is not equals to zero what you'll do ch is equals to two upper is predefined function you're calling that one and you are passing the character what what is as in here so whatever the variable or the value the character value it is being given to ch that is converted into uppercase and next, what we are doing from FP1, we had take took, right? That one, I need to keep that in my FP2. So for that reason, F put C, what should I put? This character, which you, whichever you got from F get C, that one I'll be keeping into FP2. FP2 is my second file pointer. That is target.txt pointer is FP2. Right. So like this, how many times I should until it is not equals to end of the file, I need to read each and every character. I should convert that into uppercase. I should put that into my file pointer two. that is into the target text file. Right. <clears throat> Next on successful condition, whenever you will get the end of the file, you will just quit from the while loop and you will just uh, get an output message that file is successfully copied and completely returning from your main. Right, so here I think you can see some new functions like f put c, f put s, right, and uh, put s get s. So these are the functions which are used to read all your strings of a file, right? So generally there are a few functions which, uh, for example, if you'll take some scan scan a function only. In few cases, if you'll just give some space, if you when you're trying to read the string. If I wanted to give like hi space welcome. So whenever I'll give space, it will just quit from the taking of input. So in order to get rid of that one, we'll be using this f get s and f put s um, methods, right? So put s a will act like a printf and get s will act like a, sorry, get c will act like a uh, scanf. So scan, it will take one by one input, right? And uh, file pointer f put c f uh, <clears throat> get c or these are also used for your files concepts right so when you're trying to uh, write something into files and all maximum we'll be using these functions only instead of printf and scanf okay so let us compile this code once we'll check out and we'll see the execution compile no errors are there right then you just run Yes, so what did you get? File successfully copied. So what I should do, my file was successfully copied. We got a message because I had given here some message. If I don't give any message, I can't understand whether it is copied or not. So simply for that reason, in order to know whether this file is copied or not, I had created some printf statement. File has successfully copied. Then where is my file now? I have to check it out, right? So again, go back to your uh, directory where all your programs are being stored so once you just see uh, what did we pass we had passed student.txt so what is my student.txt hi welcome to pps lab session right next what is my target target is i need to copy that content into new file that is the target so you can see here the target file has been created already once you will compile and run new file will be created simply just open that you can see Everything has been converted into uppercase. Hi, welcome to PPS lab session, right? So this is what actually output. So actual output is successfully copied, but we need to check out whether really that content has been turned into uppercase or not. So that is the reason I'm showing that target file also, right? So this is what the program regarding your uh, copying content of one file to another file and also while copying you are trying to replace all the lowercase letters to uppercase right so that's all for this uh, video thank you all well.